Welcome to the process of photophosphorylation, or the light-dependent stage of photosynthesis. Just like us, plants need energy to grow and develop through everyday life. Photophosphorylation uses the sunlight to create ATP and reduce NADP, and this is how it does it. Here, you have a phospholipid bilayer, membrane to you and me. This membrane is the membrane of a thylakoid. Thylakoids are found in the chloroplasts of a plant cell. Above the membrane is the stroma of the chloroplast. The stroma is the plant cell cytoplasm. Below the membrane is the thylakoid space. So, first we start with photosystem 2, or PS2 as we like to call it. PS2 contains two electrons at the moment, which are ready and raring to go. At the base of PS2, in this blue area, a separate reaction is occurring that will help get the ball rolling. Here, water is split in the process of photolysis, in which water is broken into its separate electrons and protons. A photon, ray of light, hits PS2 and excites the electrons already inside it. As these excited electrons leave PS2, the electrons made from water's photolysis move up into it and replace those lost during excitation. Now, these electrons need a helping hand in making their way along the membrane. This is where the electron carriers come in and help them on their way. Meanwhile, Photosystem 1, or PS1, has also been hit by a photon. It too has two electrons inside it that have been excited and lost. The electrons in PS2 come and replace those just lost. The electrons in PS1 now are carried by more electron carriers to the top of an enzyme called ATP synthase. Here, the electrons are used, along with protons, to make NADPH, reduced NADP, at a later date. However, the action of these electrons being pulled through allows another process to happen. So, let's go back to our first set of electron carriers. As the electrons are pulled through these electron carriers, this action allows protons to be pulled in and through the membrane and collect at the bottom in the thylakoid space. Protons from the hydrolysis of water also come and produce a proton gradient. They then diffuse up ATP synthase. This is called chemiosmosis. They are then used with the electrons to reduce NADP. As the protons do diffuse up ATP synthase, it actually manages to turn a turbine-like structure on the top of it. This motion sucks in ADP and its phosphate group to then produce ATP. The electrons and protons then form together to turn NADP into NADPH. Our products are then used in the light-independent reaction of photosynthesis later.